Having difficulty catching their horse is a problem many owners have to deal with. Helen was one of them. Well, I got him when I was 14 and uh, straight away I would go, into, as soon as he arrived, I'd go into the field and he'd just be running round and round and round and it would take us forever to catch him. Um, and he could go out with the feed bucket and you'd put it down and he'd creep up and then he'd stick his nose in it and he'd sort of bring the head collar out and he'd be off. Or, and then he learned that if you went out with a feed bucket he went nowhere near you because um, you, you, he couldn't sneak out of the head collar and all that sort of thing. Reluctance to be caught can be caused by many things, such as separation anxiety, unpleasant experiences after they've been caught, anxiety about head collars and ropes, lack of training. A single bad experience can be enough to cause long-term catching problems and owners can often find a way to deal with it. Every time we had to catch him, we'd go out with a bit of electric fencing and then he'd get corralled into a corner and then he'd stand quite happily to have his head collar on. Or we'd bring all the other ponies in to the yard where he'd stand on the yard and he'd be like, oh, I'm on the yard now, OK, I can have my head collar on. But it was just in the field. He didn't want to have his head collar on. He didn't want to be caught. Um, and that was the issue we had. And I... I uh, had always had a nosy at what Hannah was doing, which it was quite interesting. She was always doing weird things with her ponies. And um, and she'd sort of told me that what she was doing, uh, she could get Charlie to be able to come to call. And I was like, uh, I've tried everything. It's not going to happen. We've tried, Especially when she told me treats. I was like, yeah, Charlie's not interested in treats. He's never been interested. I could go out to the field with a carrot with nothing else and he would never be interested. Nevertheless, Helen agreed to give Clicker a try. We started teaching Charlie about Clicker training in the yard where he didn't have any problems. Here, he learnt the rules of this new and exciting game and quickly picked up the various behaviours Helen taught him. His favourite of these was targeting, putting his nose on an object to earn his click and treat. So this is how we began retraining the catching process. At first, Charlie was still very suspicious and Helen pretty sceptical. Right we moment. began with holding out the target and clicking whenever Charlie looked at her. She then offered him the treat, which he could choose to take or not to. This was the same game Charlie was happy to play in the yard, so he knew how it worked, although he wasn't ready to come closer just yet. Some time, and a lot of patience later, Charlie was getting braver and coming closer to Helen. But he still had a way to go yet. Because this is a big, big issue for him here. I'll take that. Oh, he's going the wrong way, but we'll... Oh... Soon he had the courage to actually touch the target and take the treat. Bingo! He knew how to do this and it was fun. By the end of this first session in the field, Charlie was happy to approach, follow and be with Helen in the field for the first time since she'd bought him. Yeah. Good boy. Good. And then walk away again. And if he chooses to come to you, then that's fine. If he chooses to come, should I do a bit? Yeah, yeah. No, do keep with the targeting, I think. It's something easy that he knows. Just to reward him for coming up to you in the field. Even though Charlie wasn't into treats, when Hannah came round and showed me what Clicker was all about, it, I, I started to realise it was a lot more than treats and Charlie, I think probably quicker than I realised actually, was that it was far more than treats for him. It was an intriguing game and he was wondering what I wanted him to do and that moment when I could actually see him thinking about whether he wanted to come up to me or go to his friends and he, made, he actually made a conscious decision. Um, to walk towards me rather than go over to his friends. That was, that for me, after all these years of him just being like, see ya, it was an amazing moment just to have that from him. Helen continued to play targeting in the field and progressed to asking Charlie to touch the head collar as well as introducing new games in the field with the clicker. Within a short time, Charlie was approaching yeah. Helen in the field and offering his head for her to put the head collar on and catch him. So now, um, to get Charlie in from the field, I go out my back door and I start shouting 
and then uh, by the time I've walked to the field gate he meets me there and it's great. It saves me about 20 minutes every time I dedicated those 20 minutes, which I would have been corralling him around for, to doing a little bit of clicker. And um, our relationship's never been better. And uh, I understand him better. I think he is a lot more tuned into what I'm doing. And um, it's just so much, it's so much nicer. I didn't realize how much nicer it could be. I just thought it was fine and then, but now it's just, it's great. <laughs>